Hello, so in this Facebook Live tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to go live from a mobile device using StreamYard. Now, earlier this week, late last week, they announced that they were going to roll out the ability to allow you to live stream from your mobile device, whether that's a tablet, whether that's your mobile phone, whether that's an iPhone or an Android, using their actual software, StreamYard. So I'm going to show you how to do that um, and how to get it all working for you so you can see it um, yeah so let's get into that so for those of you who don't know me my name is Sarah Nguyen and I kind of live stream about live streaming I help coaches consultants and creative pros build their business using video on social media with ease now make sure that you check out the links in the description where I'll go back and I'll add all of the timestamps any references show notes and resources that I mentioned in this video let's get right into it so in order to access StreamYard on your mobile, you need a couple of things. Firstly, you need to have a StreamYard account. So you need to set that up. It's probably easier to set up on desktop where you need to register for an account with your email address. After you've got your email and login, you need to go to Safari. At the time of this recording, it doesn't work with Chrome. They'll redirect you back to Safari. So you need to open up Safari in the browser, type in streamyard.com and then log in. So once you've logged in, this is the screen that you'll see. So this is my iPad screen so I can walk you through what it looks like and how to actually go live from StreamYard on your mobile device. Now that we are logged into StreamYard on Safari, we want to select Create Broadcast. And then I can choose the accounts that I've connected to. So I'm going to put a title, test demo. And then in the description, you'd normally put something enticing and actually talk about what the live stream is going to be about. But um, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to type quickly. Um, and then you would select create broadcast. And this will open up the studio and take you into the software. You need to allow um, StreamYard to access your camera microphone, otherwise no one will be able to hear or see you. Um, and in display name, you can change this. So it has my name. I can, you know, add or remove whatever I like there. So just by typing. Um, and then I can change the um, camera microphone settings if I had multiple cameras, but there's only one because I'm using my iPad. Um, and if I was plugging in microphones, it would show the different microphones as well. And then I would click enter broadcast studio. I'm not live yet, so don't freak out. Um, this is takes you into the studio and we're not live yet. So we're not live yet. <laughs> You'll be able to see the same things in the app on your device as you would on desktop. It's pretty much identical. I had a look and I was like, yeah, this is pretty much identical. On the right hand side, I can see by default, it has comments. So any comments that come through from the live stream will show up there. Um, if I select banners, so this is where you can put um, text and I would use it just like I would on um, desktop. I would just select the one that I wanted to display um, and go through any of the banners if I had them set up. And I select it to have it display and I click it again to get rid of it. And it's as easy as that. If I select brand, so the next tab on the right hand side, so this is where I can change it to my brand colors. This is a pink that I like at the moment. If I wanted to change it, I would click on the um, colored square and this would open up um, the color picker, which will allow me to you know, easily change between colors. Um, in terms of the other uh, features you'll see in the right hand corner it has the powered by StreamYard logo that's because I'm currently using the free account on the paid one um, you're able to add your own logo so you would just add it there um, and in terms of overlays I click on this overlay um, on the free version you only have access to their overlay which isn't quite useful but on the paid version you're able to add your own images like you can create your own version so that you can have your own um, cues and you know your own elements within the live stream. So you can access that easily just like you would on desktop. You would just tap on it. Um, and same with background. So you can change the backgrounds as well. Now, if I go to any other of the settings, it's identical to everything that I see. So if I was to invite a guest, I would in the bottom of the screen, um, go to invite. 
and then I would copy this link and send it to them so that they could um, join me on the broadcast. And once um, that I'm more happy with that, then I'm able to um, actually use some of these sizing features. Sizing features is probably not the correct word, but you're able to change like the size of how you and your guest appear on the screen, whether that's split screen or whether it's, um, you know, a couple of different arrangements, just like you would on desktop. Now, what would you do to go live? In the top right hand corner, just like the desktop version of StreamYard, select go live. And then there's a bit of a, they give you a little bit of a warning, you're live and then it's, that's it, then you're live. So now you're live, you know you're live because on the top left, there's a live um, counter and on the right hand side, end broadcast says, end broadcast and is red. So you would present your content, use your overlays, um, use your banners if you had any, um, go through it just as you would on desktop, but now you have the option to do it using your mobile device if you're traveling and all of that. And once you finish delivering your amazing content, um, everything just like you have on desktop. So you can see the live um, countdown, you can see if there are people actually watching and then you can engage with the comments um, which will be there. And once you're done, you've delivered all of your beautiful, amazing content, you can end the broadcast by selecting end broadcast. And we're going to do that now. And the broadcast has ended. So that is how you would set up and go live from your mobile device using StreamYard. That gives you that extra flexibility. And that's it. So um, I'm no longer live. It's ended. And that is how to go live using StreamYard. So I really liked how they made it pretty much identical to the desktop version, which means that you don't have to learn a different way of doing something you, if you're already using the desktop version, it's um, just as easy to use your mobile device. So you have an access, you have access to the same software, and it works in the same way, which is not something that you always get with tech. Um, so I found that I found I really really like that. I love that it's so easy to use, and I love that they've taken out a lot of noise. So with live streaming software, um, OBS, it's a bit noisy and there's so much clutter. Whereas I like with live stream, it's just the things that you need with a lot of flexibility and functionality as well. Now, if you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're looking for more ways to grow your business using Facebook Live, make sure you grab a copy of my Facebook Live cheat sheets. It's a super simple guide to get you up and streaming on Facebook Live, even if you've never hit record before. To get your hands on it, simply click on the link in the description below. And thanks for watching.